Well, shooting for Mandy Magazine um, the first time was amazing. But this time was absolutely incredible because I got to shoot with my husband. <laughs> and these are probably one of the nicest layouts. I mean, I'm, I've only seen like one or two pictures right now. Uh, the nicest layouts I've ever seen, some of the nicest pictures I've seen of us. And I can't wait to get them into my house. You have to give me <laughs> the images, please. <laughs> Uh, I think it's Mandy's first couple shoot, couple cover as well. Yeah. And it's one of the best oh. opening I think. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Very nice. I'm honored. What do you have to Mandy, no? Got it? He thinks it's Mandy's best cover in the Yeah, I think it is. Okay, now <laughs> I'll go to the man of the moment. Uh, Daniel, I know a few friends who are quite smitten by you. Oh. And you have quite a following in the ladies section. Oh, How well, are you I'm handling flattered. the relationship? Including her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm flattered. Um, He's turning red. <laughs> I don't, how am I supposed to respond to this? Okay. What's the question? How are you handling the female adulation? I, <laughs> I have no answer to this because I maybe have like a, I have blinders on. I always, my world revolves around Sunny, so I don't really think of anything else. And so I really don't acknowledge or I don't. So sorry if I don't acknowledge it. I'm flattered, thank you so much. Well, you worked with Mandate before. Yes. What, tell us something about the magazine. Mandate, for me, is the first magazine in India, for myself, that it's kind of like a home for me now. I. They have always treated both of us with the utmost respect and given us a chance to basically showcase ourselves and showcase us in a light that other magazines maybe didn't give us the opportunity to. So for me and forever, and I know for her and forever, Mandate is a home for us and we love them. Uh, Sunny, we see you, I mean, looking into each other's eyes, not really in love. Can you share one thing you find the hottest in Daniel? And not a smile or a smile. Give us some beat. Something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know the Daniel um, that's <coughs> the silly Daniel. Um, everybody thinks he's rough and tough guy. He's got all these tattoos. He walks into a meeting and he looks a little scary, but. Um, for me, he's a big softy. Why but for you, everybody why else... Why are you giving this away on camera? <laughs> but everybody Perception else Perception is everything. <laughs> um, I know nothing of what she's talking about. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, for people that don't know him, the second that you just relax and you're yourself, um, and you take five minutes to get to know him, you fall in love with him. Um, and then there's a lot of people that are scared of him, <laughs> which is good <laughs> for <Okay>. me. <laughs> I think I asked a lot of questions. I'll throw the floor open for media. Any questions? Yes. Hi, Daniel. Have you worked with Colin Crawford yet? Yes, I have had a few offers so far. Um, my timing and my commitment between everything Sunny Leone and everything music, I don't have time right now to do anything in films. But I guess if it was an amazing role and they only needed me for like three days, then it would be perfect. <laughs> but if it's an amazing role and they need me for 40 days, I can't do it. Probably something extremely negative. <laughs> Does that surprise you? <laughs> uh, next question. Um, <laughs> Good question. I'd like to know this too. So I make sure that I... Um, it's not one person that I would like to romance with. For me, it's more about I want to work with the people that want to work with me. If that means that that role has intimate scenes or sexy scenes in it, then, you know, it's part of the job. It's part of the movie. It has to be believable. Um, but the only true romance is this guy right here. <laughs> Next question. From that side, anyone? Next question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hello. 
You first. Me first. Um, it's really easy with Daniel because he's my best friend. And when you have a best friend, and I think that there's a lot of people out here that do, you always want to see your best friend. You always want to talk to him. You always want to talk about work. You want to talk about fun stuff. You want to talk about things you want to do. Um, and it just so happens he's not only my best friend, he's my husband and he's my lover. So I love it. If we go to dinner and we don't talk about work, then great. But if we go to dinner and we talk nothing about work because we're both so excited, then that's great too. We don't really separate the lines because our work is our life. I don't really, I don't think that we've ever had any normalcy in a relationship from the moment that I met her it's kind of always been in the spotlight whether I knew that that's what I was getting into or not it kind of that's the way her life was already I just kind of jumped into that so I don't really know what normalcy is maybe I guess but uh, I know at the end of the day our home life to us is normal out of the limelight out of the spotlight and we're just like anybody else and I, we cook breakfast together in the mornings. Every morning, and we try <laughs> like to do today. <laughs> and we try to do everything together like a normal couple, and, and that's it. And only when we come to wonderful events like these do we kind of feel like, oh wow, our whole life is under magnifying glass. But that's okay. And we have next question. Hello. Um, well, a lot of the movies, they're, I mean, I guess, a few of them are really, really different from each other. So if I, I can't pick one, I'm going to pick two. Um, Masi Zade, because it is just, it was so much fun to shoot, and based on what I shot and what I saw, um, it's going to be non-stop laughing, shocking, going, oh my gosh, what are they doing? Um, fun, the songs are fun, the songs are catchy, they're still stuck in my head. Um, and the craziness and madness that goes on in this movie is, I, ca I can't tell you anything because I'll get in trouble. Um, and then there's Ek Paheli Lila, which is the complete polar opposite. Um, it has scenes where I get to dress up as a princess and uh, there's a lot of, there's a, the image that everybody's seen which is a flashback um, and it's so beautiful and Emmett Khan and, and Bobby did such an amazing job making it look so beautiful and grand and if I just show you one image, it's layer upon layer of creativity uh, behind everything. Every frame is beautiful. So they're both very different. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like this, <laughs> juggling. Um, I'm, I'm not even in the films and it stresses me out. So I can't even imagine what it's doing to her. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's almost, I see acting as like, it's sort of like a game. Every day I go to set and I get to be something different and I get to do something new. And that's a lot of fun. Whether it be for Lila or Masizade or Kuch Kuch Lochae and there's a few more. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Sunny. Hi, where are you? Oh, there you go. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I just wanted to know in your, this year, 2015, in your personal life in your, and your professional life, what are you really waiting to happen? I'm eagerly waiting for that next movie to come out. Um, it's been a long time since my last movie. Uh, I believe it was March last year. So it's been a while, and I'm ready for another movie to come out. Hopefully, by the grace of God, people like it. Um, so I'm eagerly waiting for that. And then you? Um, I'm always nervous for every release that she has because again the fans decide everything and they ultimately shape every actor's career, actor, actress. Uh, for myself, um, my band The Disparos is touring in April for the first time through India and as always I'm just nervous for the perception from people and see how they 
meet us and greet us and take our music. So. Next question. We add some um, well, each of the films that I signed, I loved the story. I loved, you know, either the producer, the director, the story always comes first. Um, it's just happened to all come on my plate like this. So, um, we just made it work and I believe in every single one of the movies that I signed and that I'm working on and God willing I have five more next year God willing <laughs> I have more in you know the following years only you know only the fans will decide whether they enjoy watching me on screen or they don't I liked a lot of songs. Um, I don't know where to begin. Maybe got any of them. No, that probably won't happen. But <laughs> but she can name some. <laughs> um, I love all the songs from. Oh my gosh, I just totally went blank. I Ram love, Lila. Yes, I, that's what I was gonna say. That was what I was gonna there say. We go. yeah, that's probably why we're married. Yeah. My favorite. Um, I don't. I don't see things as being competitive. I think my biggest competitor is myself. Um, who do I think is a great actress? I've always loved Vidya Balan. Um, I think Kangana does an amazing job as well. Um, Priyanka Chopra, I think, is the jack of all trades. She does it all. I think she's probably one of the most inspiring women in Bollywood that I watch and I look at and I read her articles and I see everything she's doing. Um, or I go back to the States and then I see you're on a big guest billboard. Um, you feel proud when you're when you're in another country and then you see one of your own, you're like, yes, she's she's Indian. She's from where I'm from. And you know, you get excited. Um, so I think she's very, very inspiring. Next question. Yeah. Uh, hi, Sally. Hi. Oh, hi, how are you? Very good. Uh, uh, you can see what he said. Uh, that you had a wish for the Prime Minister to make things easier for NRI. And he has. <laughs> and uh, so any more expectations you would have in the house of he, he has. You know what? He, he has. He has made OCIs and PIO like myself for lifetime visa instead of 10 year renewal. That's one start. And NRI to be able to vote. Yeah, to be able to vote. Yeah, so, so go. Change Mr. is coming. <laughs> be prepared, change is coming. Yeah. Can you have the last question? That guy in the corner. Yeah. Pink t shirt. That guy in the corner, the pink t shirt. Orange. Orange, yeah. He wants to ask me. Yes, I'm not here. He's just waving hello. <laughs> Uh, the song is called Ye Ishk, and you can take it from there. It features Sunny, myself, and Ali Kuli, who's in the Big Boss House. It is on Z Music and will be shown in Kuch uh, Kuch Lochehe. It is filmed, we flew Ali to Los Angeles and we filmed the whole video there. We flew my whole makeup yeah, team. The whole and team, everybody team. in LA, so we can get a totally different vibe, totally yeah. different feel, and that's all we're gonna tell you. So you're surprised. It, Otherwise, if I tell you, you won't be surprised. It's completely different than what you're used to seeing. Yeah. I'm not talking about this, you know, being sexy or glamorous. I'm talking about how it's filmed, how it was shot. Um, it's... We need to remove everybody 10,000 miles away to make sure there was, was nothing else. <laughs> no influence. Your, your focus will be on the three of us <laughs> only. <laughs>